Welcome back, Libra. This is for the beginning part of March 2019. Um, this is not gender bias, it's gender neutral. I'm Brandy from Brandy's Touring and I Tarot. I, of course, have pulled your cards. <laughs> so I have uh, my Vice Versa deck and my Bonefire Tarot. This is the reverse side of the Herofit, and this is the Herofit, clarifying Herofit. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Ay, 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 ay. And then we got both the reverse sides of the Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands. And the Ace of Wands clarifying those. My Sacred Fool. Lullaby. And True Love and Deception. Okay. I'm going to get into this. You. Oh, you also have the Knight of Cups, by the way. Sorry about that. I forgot to tell you that. Alright, you can see the cards, you can see me. Alright, this is my tarot mess. Um, you're having an awakening, love. With two fives, two hierophants. This hierophant that clarified the hierophant in reverse, my vice versa tarot. This hierophant is rebelling. Rebelling against the tradition, the traditional uh, ways, right? Which might be like marriage or something, or you're just awakening uh, to your own life, to your own dreams, to what you want. And the sacred fool kind of tells me that. Okay, we'll get into all this. Um, the nine of the knight of cups, and the opposite is. On a mission, he knows he needs to give his chalice somewhere. He is uh, not really taken into regard anyone's opinion. He is almost like a dark, dark knight of the soul. He wants to go where he wants to go. He's not really taking the orders of anyone else. He's watching where the tide goes, right? And then the Knight of Swords. You see that creepy guy in the corner? They're watching himself being the Nine of Swords. Yeah, that creeped me out when I seen that. Definitely. So this is like, almost like you're watching yourself. Like it is the dark night of the soul. Reminiscing on the old naive one that is stuck in this position. With the Two of Wands. About to make a choice. You've actually already made a choice. You, you're manifesting it in your palm there. Okay. And then with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. Clarifying these. You are going against the traditional realm. Okay. You've got a new creative opportunity in front of you. New passion. Okay. new. I believe this is a love reading. And about awakening yourself. I'll just put that out there. Um, okay. Let's dive in here. I'm just going to spit it out. You are rebelling against what you've known. What you've been told. Who are you to love? This has religion all behind it. I don't know who this is resonating for. But this is a religious... Like, this is what you have been told to do. Uh, this religion-based thing. Who to love. How to love. And you're awakening. Like, this is how I want to love. This is who I want to love. This is who I want to give my cup to. Okay? Okay. I'm observing. I'm trying to decide if I want to make a move. I'm in the dark night of the soul trying to find out who I am. And I am manifesting this. I already know my decision is coming. With this new opportunity of love, of creation. And the sacred fool. Okay, there is so much passion. Sorry, she's naked. There's so much passion behind this. This... This represents someone trying to, like, uh, direct your moves. But the fool is like, I'm going to direct my own moves. She sits in her 
wild nature. She's coming out. Like I said, this is gender neutral. You just apply it, male or female. Sorry. She is coming to terms with what she wants to do, whether she looks ridiculous to other people or not. Whether anyone tells her what she should or should not do. She is starting to live for herself. And may that be wild or unorthodox uh, to some people. It doesn't matter because it's not them. It's not their life. Okay. And this, I think, is what you're doing, Libra. I think you're having an awakening that your eyes have been closed to what you really want. And now you're rebelling because the sacred fool and the, the reverse deck over here with the hierophant, it's rebellion. Okay? It's rebellion against what other people want you to do. And you're starting to do what you want to do, whether you look foolish to them or not. Okay, you're taking that leap for yourself. Ah! <laughs> the lullaby is a man sitting with his cello in the night. Again, night, night, night. And it's... it's Screams dark night of so to me rebirth awakening. That's what it screams to me. Okay. You are listening to the sounds of the night and to your inner your inner thoughts, uh the music that you can create. You know, what what do you want? What is your longing? And he is looking towards the true love. Okay? Because that's what he wants. So whatever. But with this rebellion, with this hierophant, both of them, okay, there's deception because you're not telling, you're not telling this or someone's not telling this, okay, because true love and deception, there's true love within your reach, like real true love, but the deception card is someone's wearing a, wearing a mask, they're not telling you or you're not telling them how you feel, you're hiding that, and I think that's to do with this whole religious, what you've already had planned out for your future, what you're doing, but you're going through this dark night of the soul thing. You're fighting your inner feelings, and this is, this, this is saying, well, this is your real path. This is your real path. Whether that's love or not, or our, our love of creativity, okay? You're going against what others have told you that you need to do. And you're starting to listen to your inner self, your sacred fool, your inner fool. And you're taking that leap and you're listening, okay? You're coming out of this dark night of the soul. You're, you're looking back on the past. You're looking at your old self. You're manifesting this new thing with your choice. Okay, because the two of wands, he's holding just one and man, a manifesting orb. He's already made his choice. He just has to make that leap. And you have a new opportunity to do so. And it's very passionate with this true love. If you just speak up and rebel against what other people want you to do. And if you don't, the eight of wands is the reverse side. See that Pegasus? If you don't. He's going to come in and do it for you. Okay, this is the normal side, which is just rapid communication, arrows of love coming at you. If you don't go and do what you really want, something's going to do it for you, love. They're going to force you to. It's going to come to a, oh, you know. We got the six of pentacles on the underline, which is this, this is the opposite, which she almost looks like malicious and it's a dark scene too. So it's like opposite of what it's supposed to be. I haven't had that one yet. I just got this deck. So let me see what the opposite of pentacles is here. Be careful that your terrible inclinations are born from compassion and kindness, not from a hidden agenda of control or superiority. Clarity should not come with strings attached. Ooh. If you are in a position to give, do it generously. No one wants to be patronized or in emotional debt. We don't want to be in emotional debt. Huh. 
Give me, give me more advice about Libra's awakening to what they really want. Spirits, what other message? What about this Eight of Wands reverse? One cannot hear. It's a page of swords. It's telling you to come to the truth too. It's not like full blown like a king or a queen. They're just telling you you need to be honest too. What about the sacred fool? Spirits, light. What about the sacred fool for me? Alright. <laughs> You're going to have freedom with clarity and with truth. And with that eagle packing, it's almost like a wreath for the old Renaissance wedding to me right now. Like with clarity comes your freedom and your happiness and your true love. Give me sacred fool. Spirits and light. Give me sacred fool. Hmm. The Queen of Cups fully went through her emotions. She's known. Queen of Cups knows loss. She knows joy. She knows happiness. She has this giant cup waiting for you. She's looking down, reminiscing in it, like, when will they come? When will they come? That's my other deck here. We'll use my other deck too. Any, any more advice for my Libra for March 2019? This awakening spirit. Page of Wands. A young offer with a message. You need to give the message of passion. It's all about your passion. What What do you want? What do you want, Libra? Are you going to take off this false mask? Are you going to tell how you really feel? I think that's what it comes down to. If you embracing your sacred fool and giving your cup to who you want to give it to. The six of coins. There's movement. Oh, again, you got it. Again. Six of pentacles, six of pentacles. But this one's good. This one's movement. This one's plentiful. Okay, if you open up. There's good times here. There is movement. I think you're going to do it. It's for the majority of you. I think you're going to go embrace your own secret. Full. One more card. Just one more card, please. I'm not taking all these. And then we're going to get advice. Mm, page of Swords, Clarity, Clarity, Passion, uh, these young offers, these young, young offers, the Nine of Swords again, you're in like conflict over here, and the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, you need to just embrace it, quit letting other people pull your strings, listen to your own self, your own emotion, man. you're like stuck here, let's see what my Angel postcards have a direct message for my Libra about this awakening, this rebellion, their true love, March, beginning of March 2019. Spirits and light, do you have a message for my Libras? One more shuffle for my Libra. Who has got goosebumps all over me? Ooh. I think you're gonna find your way. If you you need to listen, if you're watching this, to embrace your fool. Maybe embrace your wild side for a minute.
Come on, you got a message for him. Direct message. Miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you'll see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, and when they will choose how they come. When they will show up and what they will do for you. All that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If only you knew how much you were loved. Hmm. and that's all i have for you libra you can like share subscribe comment um if this resonated with you there's a lot of religious factors in this for you with the higher point here twice in my belly um again thank you for tuning in and you'll catch me with your your air sign general reading until the last portion of March reading and I'll catch you on the flip side thank you very much for watching